some arch gate spawner. What is the loot pool looking like if you sat there and retail and destroyed all of the loot spawners? <laughs> I personally think that um, a lot of launch packs, a lot of campfires, and a lot of uh, AMs that we both do. We do But now, we are across the way because look at this big suit of uh, This trio, we saw an absurd amount of snipes last game. Now, many of them they couldn't follow up on just based on their, where they were, but look at this. He drops down and he gets counter drop. That is a zap. We've got to be careful. It's okay. All right. I thought I thought that wasn't moving. I thought that was not as well really fast as it's just one other team contesting you um looks like these guys are the kings of happy all the way in the middle east which is which is huge we have now um two big things as well that a lot of people don't realize in the game is when you have the kings of the drop spot clash against each other you don't really see where people come from right in the end game when they're on height but now that we know that we have the asmr boys having all of retail we have this rainbow loadout on every single person from happy we can now see a storyline build up all the way to the end game at the moment. These guys are looking very, very good, but look who else is here. We've got two trios just in front. There is one player from a trio left in old yonder. They're making their way over, over a hill by that long ravine there. Okay, so it saves him there by himself. I'm not sure what he's still doing there. It looks like he might just be crouched, just trying to loot there. You got Simar, Cake Park, Dash. Cake pack, dash, I like that, <laughs> like that. I do enjoy some cake as well. Uh, but now they just get to kind of walk into old yonder. I mean, there's always going to be no loot. We can farm up a material if we wanted. All right, I take that back. There was one piece of loot, which was just the ammo box. My apologies. They're probably probably feeling pretty comfortable because they do even have a shockwave, which look like they have a shockwave of peace, and they even have a jump pad. Uh, the launch pad is the safety, so. All going their way here in the early. Yeah, there's an absolute skirmish all the way in the snow side. We've kind of seen things develop, I guess, even in Middle East as well. A lot of the people like to land split. They like to be up and down, so it's kind of stays easy. It's always just, you know, a bunch of people playing desperate with a bunch of kills that have already finished their fights. So you can imagine how split off. You can see in. And you do see a little bit more survivability coming out of snow side towards the bones over here, towards the big monster skull. But at the same time, um, there is, you know, those mid-game fights that do break down at times. Right now, we don't see any. Um, we can drop into just seeing the options that Toggle has now to move towards, I guess it's the desert biome, towards the bottom. Yeah, there's still so much players left. 75 of 31 trios left. We get one in top one before we start seeing a few points of points at all. And we're right now in Storm Circle 2. There's still so many players that have, have to be eliminated before this end game. I'm not going anywhere near retail, mm -hmm. right? Because we already know ASMR trio is there, and we even saw uh, the power trio as well.
survival mode you have the worst sound anyone could have heard um for from him on the server for his situation is that shield break sound the, the whole the whole you know desynchronization of the shield so right now he's worried he knows shields around him know that he's worried his entire plan at the moment is to use you see half his loadout's already gone right mm -hmm. he have we talked about when to use your loadout when is your win condition do you want elims you said it zeke it's full survivability at the moment and yonks has to go to the Bronx and even further now to even <laughs> win the game, right? Like, zero elims, the easiest thing to do, right? Getting three points through eliminations is three separate fights. A lot of mats used there, right? A lot of gun skill required, um, a lot of brains required in the fight against three other people. But if you separate it into... I want to be hopeful for Youngs in this game. And what's different is like during qualifiers, you know, you had kind of 10 games and you had three hour window. Mm -hmm. So like if you were in this situation, you could say, look, I'm just going to run into a team you know, for the best. And even if I was eliminated, it's fine. We're just going to hop back into another game. But these are heats, right? So like right now, everything is on the shoulder of Youngs, yep. right? Because all we're going a game, a full game at a time. So Youngs just can't say, all right, oh, let's just let this game be our wash. Like, no, he actually has to sit here and try. And I mean, if I'm FHD, if I'm M NM7, I'm sitting there like looking out for him, like, right, you've got a team here, you've got a team there. Like, just try and keep yourself positive. Cause like, for me personally, if I was in this situation, I, <laughs> it would be so stressful. <laughs> yeah. But these are the very best of the best. They're here for a reason. As I say that, caster curse in full effect. <laughs> I <laughs> finished my sentence and Yogs gets picked up. It's okay. But all they have to do is go back in, let that game wash over, and prepare themselves for this next game. Uh, well, for them, this, these games already wrapped up overnight, so for, hopefully for the next game, he, he, he steeled himself, you know, at least hopefully. Yeah, you touched on it a little bit. This is really, it's, it's going to be a weird analogy, so I segue, but bear with me here, right? You I'm said listening. the game was on Yonks' shoulders, right? Mm -hmm. In cartoons, you usually have like an angel or a devil on your shoulders, right? Okay. To break it down for people trying to clutch up in that situation, replace the angel and devil with your win conditions, right? Am I looking for free elims rotating? Am I looking to play safe? And every time you see one of your shoulders kind of ding, that's what you have to play for. You have mm -hmm. to suppress all the other easy stuff you see. Maybe there's a free heavy snipe you can take, right? At the same time, that exposes you, right? Your right. whole full shoulder is not lit up there. You gotta play at the side of the angel. So if you're trying to learn how to get in the clutch situations, trying to learn exactly how to rotate in the game, what is right, what is wrong, segment it out, wait for the proper shoulder to light up and that's an easy way right right there yonks the mistake he made he kind of chose the devil shoulder he saw free tags for rotation he knows he needs elims because he has zero but in doing that he brought the full force of an entire trio out right yep. he talked about entities he turned a full one entity he could just block with mats to three people to face three separate ar shots he got erased from the server man that's so dope yeah see shy wager dropping these <laughs> knowledge bombs and making my inner child who loves Looney Tunes, just so happy right now. Uh, I appreciate that, Shai, that was very nice. That's
get there. I'm glad that they were able to say, look, we probably don't, we, we're not gonna follow this. We don't have, we can have this park all the way over there, and we can a bunch of materials. They hear what's coming, and they're ready to react. We just say, like, you know what, you got to use your stuff. See, now you're on, that, you're on that shoulder wavelength now. You know I got exactly it. What's right. I got it. Yeah. See? There, there we go. go. So now you can point that out every time you see it. That is literally the explanation of what wind conditions are and how to follow up things in the inventory, right? A lot of people used to hate stinks. They realize that, you know, people randomly stink me all the time. That's kind of when it first came out, right? People would actually know how to follow up with them. But now, we still have four stinks in Rampage's box. He's ran through how many trios beside them, right? He's not throwing them for no really dilly reason whatsoever, right? right? He's using them in response with explosives and in response to the knock. They're complementary items that aren't as greasy anymore, but actually strategically used to, you know, shake up an entire trio and not just have them box up the entire time when someone else actually has an advantage to push on them with. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Plus, I mean, you probably, if you are this trio, you probably want to save as many six as you can. Super, super cool, like, small. Those things become more and more like, just, like blanketing an entire tarp. And you're saying as long as you guys are trying to get to safety, you're gonna be taking five ticks. So you guys can hold that L. But but at the same time, like their loot isn't great, right? Like it's probably mid-game center is fine, but now we're starting to move into that late game. So they wanna try and find another trio to get their loot and kind of propel them forward. Because like you've got the Greek pump, sure. You've got the long range in the air, sure. Four splashes. Space there is on the map, the more your loadout actually pumps out and matters, right? Is a like, huge in mid game fights. So when that thing is lost in a storm, that's what even just having a great way of So you get an amazing breakdown, you know, kind of these wind conditions get so much more diverse throughout the game as they keep going and the zone gets small. So that was a, that was a really cool breakdown. Hey. Nice. Here we go. The altar, different altar ego, Namfu, Mev, and Ego here, Dennis. Uh, so not the alter ego trio we're used to seeing more of their comrades. They are they're on five of the about their top three right now, which is huge to play for another eight trios. They're gonna give themselves placement points. Now their loadout's looking real good. They just picked up a minigun, which is huge. They have three stinks, an RPG, a blue pump splashes as well. They've got materials almost 150, almost fully capped out. Game. As you said, low ground tarp means you cannot go lower at all. The reason people love having mid ground so much is because.
bottom or diagonally from the bottom at all. You basically have very good camera control around your entire horizontal axis, as well as just looking up slightly to just see what's happening on your floors and if any RPGs are coming down straight up above you. So it's actually not bad to control ultimate low. The only issue being that is everyone's desperation play to go to randomly <laughs> when they are at the end of the game, right? It's like, hey, I'm in trouble, got to drop low. So there's so much to take an account of on that horizontal plane, it gets hard. Now we're looking at a six zone rotation. This is where the action and the meat of the game comes in. The first placement point getting dropped, top 12 now, 34 people alive, Zeke, the heels are still there, so is an RPG. What does that mean for their end game? I mean, right now they want to try and challenge for high ground and get the, the, the highest tarp possible and then start raining those RPGs down. And look at this, 700 rounds in that minigun. Dennis wants to try and apply pressure to everyone. It doesn't matter where they are. He wants to use that minigun and try and put them off edge because now look, he's going for height, which is smart, and they actually got it. This is gonna be great for them. They can rain down those shots and everyone that's on those lower ground tarps, though they had the advantage of being lower, now they have to worry about this constant minigun pressure from above on, on, count of, on top of people on your, your tarp, people below you, people also using other types of explodes. Are there stinks in play? There's so many more things that they don't have to worry about being on that high ground tarp. And now they're just saying, yep, everyone down below, just keep worrying. No, 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 it's fine. This minigun, there you go, spammy. Oops, sorry, spammy. You just got picked up on the crossfire, right? Like, he spammy still got spammed. He got spammed. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. But I mean, right now, if you're everyone down below, I mean, first of all, let's talk about their HP. Super